Hello everybody, I'm Lance Goyke and today we're talking about the dumbbell row and how some people uh, don't appreciate the leg drive that is necessary for this row and, and more importantly, the stability that I need to get from the lower body so that I can effectively move my upper body. So what I'm talking about here is if you got feet that are flopping around during your row, um, you need to kind of reevaluate where your forces are coming from. So I can do a row by turning my entire body and I can get a weight that is in my hand, a dumbbell that is in my hand to come up to my torso. But at what cost, right? And that, that's kind of the theme of our <laughs> doing this with the right technique uh, series of videos. This row, what is the purpose of your row? Well, generally the purpose is to train your upper body rowing patterns and your back muscles. Now, primarily back muscles, we're talking about the lats and we're talking about the uh, periscapular muscles, the ones that are in your upper back area, your trapezius, your rhomboids, it makes you look bigger. I've never seen somebody who's <laughs> got a huge back, but is also weak, right? You see people with big legs, sometimes, you see people with big chest often who are weak, but you never see someone with a big back who's weak. So um, what does this row look like? Well, I'm gonna kind of bias myself and I want you back away from the camera here and I want you to watch your or my hips here as I row. It will generally look something like this. <laughs> and you'll see their heel come up off the ground and they kind of do this little shimmy thing. And then you'll see my hip be the thing that drives the motion up. Generally when I'm seeing this, I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, that's too much weight. Um, <laughs> again, I, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. So sometimes I'll just say, hey, you gotta keep your feet down while you do that. Keep that, that you know one foot in particular down if you can, if you can focus on just one foot, that kind of helps. Uh, make it a little more approachable um, and ensures you'll be more successful. Keep that foot down as you row. Whoa, that's way much harder, way much harder. <laughs> um, generally, so generally too much weight, yes, but generally also you're gonna have to slow this down. Um, when you start to use the momentum, it it kind of makes sense to just splint your body and turn the entire thing to get the row done. Um, but for the purposes of this, I want you to be able to set your hips straight in the ground, set your feet straight in the ground, firm in the ground evenly, and then row with your upper body and let just a little bit of turning occur, a little bit of rotation occur. So keep an eye on that. That one's really commonly misdone. Um, remember to, you know, don't let your ego get to you too much. Uh, pick an appropriate weight, slow it down if you need to, and make sure your feet are staying firm in the ground.